Yingling, it's your beer. Ask for it. Need I say more? Hey friends, welcome to having a beer with Mike. You are going with me to Shank, the beer distributor right now, so we can get our instructions for tonight's appearances. We're gonna go out there, we're gonna push some Yingling beer, we're gonna have a good time, and we're gonna go meet, oh here's some Herbo tracks. watch this. <laughs> we're gonna go meet some crazy bar people, fun people, people that work hard, people that are unemployed, people that are behind on child support, you're gonna see them all. Plus, Agent Thomas Link, has uh, a surprise for us. He said he has some talent stuff going on. We're gonna meet him. I'm documenting the whole thing because we're in this together. All right? Having a beer with Mike. This ain't your mama's TV. Here we are at Shank. This is a big beer distributor in Orlando, Florida. And all the money passes through these guys. The beer gets transferred from trucks to the bars. The bar people give the money back to the distributor. Then the distributor plays golf. Walk with me. Being friendly, using such words as, excuse me. It lets other people know that you are thinking of them when you say, excuse me. Excuse me? How are you? Good manners make good first impressions. And because your manners are showing all the time, they have a lot to do with how well people like you. We're at the Shank Company. Well, I'm having a beer with Mike, and we're, and we're doing uh, some appearances tonight at some bars to promote Yingling. Oh, yummy. Do you like Yingling? Uh, yes. Taste it. And you'll know. Well, you sell all the beers here, don't you? Yes. <laughs> wow, do you think yeah. I'm an attractive man? Yes. I think you're very nice, too. That's courtesy at work. Oh, no. You're old enough to be my son. <laughs> oh, well, hey, motorboating starts when we're babies. Perhaps the less said about this kind of manners, the better. Tell, tell Joe that having a beer with Mike's in the house with the cameras. You work hard, Joe. You're a good foreman. Yes, women workers do present problems, Joe. Women scare me. I know, Joe. Well, maybe the women are scared too, Joe. Hi, Mike. Debbie, Debbie. Come on in. All right. We're gonna go in here and get your things because you're going to be going to suspenders. And Friendly Combines. Wait, wait, I'm going to Suspenders? Suspenders Saloon, Friendly Combines, and Odin's Den this evening, right? Yes, for that's all we're here for. Thank you. All right, that's, here's this is this. it. And then we've got some other things for you. Oh. Yours is here. Do I get the suitcase? I boxes. get the suitcase? Well, you get this box. Well, man, look, it looks like, I'm, <laughs> looks like I'm a hobo going out for Yingling. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Can we see what this is? They're giving this to me? What is it? You're welcome. Drugs. No. 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 Oh, hat. Oh my Pink god. Hat. This is awesome. This is awesome. Do I get to keep the case? Yes. Asking to borrow things politely, not demanding them are more signs of good men. Plus, plus stuff in there. Well, let's see. I want to see what's in there. Can I, can I, can you give me one of your Lee Press-Ons? I want to... <laughs> Take a look at these ladies over here. They, they work at Shank. What is... Wow! 
This is going to be an awesome appearance tonight. We're going to go out and make a lot of people happy with this stuff. Thank you, Shank. Thank you, Debbie. That's it. Can I get a hug? Sure. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Thank you. Can I get one, too? Now, uh, avoid spending any more time with one than with another. Ooh, treat them all the same, pleasantly, friendly, but with no favoritism. Here, I'll get the suitcase. Yeah, it sounds good. I just kind of want to see you walking with me. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. That's right, of course. Ladies first, and no shoving or pushing. Beerwithmike.com. That's it. Beer Patrol car. That is so cool. I am not giving this suitcase back. This is going to stay with me in all my travels. You tell Brian and Joe that they no longer have this suitcase. Okay. Yes, your manners are showing all day long. Over 180 years of handcrafted beer tradition. Five generations of one family's quest. One thing made us America's oldest brewery. Taste. Real beer character that has taste. We had it then. We have it now. Having a beer with Mike. This ain't your mama's TV. The people at Shank are awesome. So, you know, we're on our way, right? So I took the beer patrol car. I sent that with the production staff. I'm hopping in a limo so I can pick up my friends along the way. Now, Agent Thomas has this beauty pageant girl, and I'm so looking forward to meeting her. I mean, we got to get some beauty around the show. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's going to be awesome. I gotta tell you something. And then the Lord spoke, and he said, let there be a good appearance tonight, Big Dave. All right, all right. Do you think it's gonna be good? It's gonna be fantastic. You take a look at that, cameraman. That's, that's up there, isn't it? It looks like Dick Simmons' hair. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I wanna thank you. Orlando Executive Limousine. That's correct, that's correct. And you're Big Dave. Yes, sir, yes, sir. What's the craziest thing you've seen go on in this limousine? Uh, probably uh, sexual relations. Very active, squirming fellows. Notice the large head. Okay, well, we don't want to hear about that. We're, <laughs> we're, we're, trying, to keep it, uh, we're trying to keep things healthy. Listen, um, hey guys, we're going to have, uh, we're waiting on Thomas the agent. And uh, when he gets here, he's got a special guest, and we're going to go in and do some appearances. And we're going to enjoy the rain. Right? Ready. All right. Before we meet my beauty pageant co-star, here's a little bit about the origin of the beauty pageant. Did you know that in 1854, that was the year of the first beauty pageant? It was put on by P.T. Barnum, but it was immediately closed down due to public protest. I mean, come on. Who would protest a woman in a bathing suit wearing a pageant sash? Okay, Thomas. What's going on, man? Hey, buddy. What's All right, man. How you doing, brother? All right, uh, the talent, my special pageant talent. Ooh, uh, she's supposed to be here. You know what I'm saying? She's not here? Uh, I mean, I, uh, she could be inside. I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, there she is. Hi, uh, Miss Iowa. I'm Mike from Having a Beer with Mike. A cheerful greeting for friends you meet. That's what good manners do. And I want to thank you for coming out to this to the show. Hi. And uh, let's go do this, all right? Mm -hmm. Only the best for you, Mike. Oh, 
How you doing in here, everybody? Is this suspenders? Am I talking to suspenders? We want you guys to know that we're having a beer with Mike, but we do not come here to talk through a bullhorn. We, we have gifts, and we know the economy is tough right now, and we love you, and we support Yingling, and we want you to come talk to us, be on TV, and we want to give you guys some of the free great things that we brought here today, and I'd like you guys to understand. Thank you. And I have Miss Iowa, whom I've just met. This is Miss Iowa. Her name is Harmony Rain. Can we please give a round of applause for Miss Iowa? As a picture sweeter than a kiss. Hey, Dad. Come on over and get some free pictures and some uh, signatures and some free stuff. Come see us. We're not shy. We just want to say hi to you. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I got a Yingling hat for the first person to come over and give a hug to Dick Simmons. A well-mannered group, aren't they? You notice their good manners right away. Okay, uh, you see this? I gotta get the camera on this young lady. She's our, our wonderful waitress. Lisette? This is Lisette? Okay. We have a man here from Geneva, Florida. We hope the light doesn't get too much on you, but from Geneva, Florida. Born and raised. So tell them what kind of beer you're drinking. Langley. That's the way we say it in Geneva, Florida. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I know people don't say ladies and gentlemen anymore, but I, I like the 50s, you know? Leave it to Beaver would say that if he was a comedian. Okay, I'm standing here with a young lady. Uh, I discovered her about five minutes ago. Turns out she works here and she's off work. Her name is Crystal. Yes. Crystal would like you to know something very special. I love Suspender Saloon and Mike. Thank you, honey. That's why we're having a beer. Are you a married woman? I am not. Have you ever been uh, held tightly? He's learned so much about courtesy. What? No, uh, Crystal. Tell us, tell us uh, what you do here at Suspenders and encourage people to come here and, do, and the days you work because I want them to visit you. Okay, I'm a new bartender at Suspenders. I don't know when I'm gonna work. Okay. I'm hoping Saturdays and Sundays and maybe a night during the week. Okay. Suspenders, your favorite neighborhood bar in Castleberry, Florida, where there's always good atmosphere, good yingling, and good singing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's so hard to say goodbye. It's tough to say goodbye, but we got two more bars to go to, and I want you to give yourselves a round of applause, and we thank you for having a beer with Mike, and we hope we you had a good time with us. Good night, and always remember one thing. Pay your child support or change your name. <laughs> Having a beer with Mike. This ain't your mama's TV. Hey friends, get the Having a Beer with Mike iPhone app at the App Store. It's free. We'll keep you entertained at work, in traffic. We'll give you something to do while you're taking a poo. Riding around in a beer patrol car is awesome, but I gotta tell you, after you've had a little bit to drink, you gotta think responsibly, right? So my advice is call Big Dave at Executive Limousine. Is that the name of it? 
Executive Orlando Limousine. Sorry, Big Dave. Okay, we're here at uh, Friendly Confines for location number two. And so we're assembling everybody right now and we're gonna go ahead and have a good time, see what this is all about. It's gonna be, oh, frickin' Thomas. Let me guess, Thomas sent you. Yes. All right, go, go over there. Hey friends, always remember, if you have to book talent, call Thomas. He'll never let you down. Listen folks, I'm a high level agent. Mike asked me to get him some beautiful talent and I did the best I could. These are beautiful girls. You know what, the Mike doesn't pay anything. You know what he pays me? He pays me a yingling beer. Big Dave, you're driving us around. How's it feel, man? It's fun, it's fun. You guys are crazy. <laughs> I'll tell you, you got a great limo. Um, we're not keeping you up too late, are we? No, no, no. I'll go all night, baby. All okay, night. okay, you're good? All right. I'm good, I'm good. All right, so you ready? We're going to go and do this appearance here at Friendly Confines. Are you excited? I'm excited. Let's go. Okay, all right. Well, uh, make sure no one breaks in and gets our beer. Okay. Let's do it. Can I hear a hello? My name is Mike from Having a Beer with Mike, and I am here with Miss Nebraska. I'm here with Miss Iowa. We came here to share the love with you. Okay, let's put that camera on the Friendly Confines audience and let's get some love back. Take a look at this. And drink to all the happy hours. Drink to the careless day. Drink to Maynard of a mother and calling of our hearts always. Well, all right then. We encourage you to come get some free stuff. Where's the free stuff going to be, everybody? Oh, right here it is. Come over and say hello, and uh, we'll make you uh, wealthier. Well, this is Friendly Confines. It's kind of a lively crowd, isn't it? That's exciting. Why don't you talk to these guys? I have no idea what to do sometimes, but I just want to be here with you as long as we can do this. Thank you. What's your name? Jess. Well, I would like to get one right here for the folks at home. What the country needs is more moonlight, more kissing and hugs, more cutting up rugs, and skiddly bit, giddly bit, hippo bay. Okay, I'm ladies, you're, you're, you're good sports. You let me. Thank you for the beer, Mike. Thank you is a simple way to repay those who do things for you. You let me do my thing on you, and I just want to step away and let you on the camera, and you talk to the people at home all by yourself. You do it. There you go. Talk to the camera. When it's time for fun, when it's so easy to forget about manners, what about then? Thank you, Friendly Confines in Winter Park, Florida. I had a blast. I'm sorry I ran out on my chicken wing tab. You know where to find me. Hey friends, get the Having a Beer with Mike iPhone app at the App Store. It's free. We'll keep you entertained at work, in traffic. We'll give you something to do while you're taking a poo. Having a Beer with Mike. This ain't your mama's TV. We're on our way to Odin's Den, but first we gotta stop off and pick up a little treat called Angie. This is to uh, Angie, our latest member of our bar tour. Okay. Uh, Angie, we're in Odin's Den. All right. And uh, look at the camera right there, Angie, and say some sweet things. Mike is the most amazing person in the world. <laughs> he, he's my new love, and cheers to Mike. You can enjoy the ride and let others enjoy it. Or you can, well, look around. Uh, there's a difference between a driver and a chauffeur. It's probably just a hat, but still. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, 
thank you very much. My name is Mike. I'm from Having a Beer with Mike. Hey, now, I've been working all night. I've got to take a leak. I'm going to give it to Dick Simmons. Give him a round of applause. Yes! <laughs> if you must interrupt, two words will show that you mean well. Simply, may I? First person that can come up here and make Angie laugh will get it. What? I don't laugh. I don't no, come on. Somebody come over here and just make her laugh. Gee, I'm glad I thought of that. <laughs> over there. Grab, grab some shit out of there and I'm going to go meet some people. Hey, I watch Have a Beer with Mike because I don't sleep well, baby. Nice going, old lady. Oh, <laughs> get me <laughs> Get me both oh I don't think that, I think the pin word doesn't work, but I signed it right there. <laughs> you look like the kind of guy it's so that has a good high. time. I did, yeah. Okay, this, hold this t-shirt up. All right. We just want you to have it because uh, I can tell you're the lead dog with all these boys right here. You're their, you're their hero. Yeah, I am. I'm totally their hero. Except the shirt's never gonna fit me. Now another kind of problem, and it looks like a very interesting one. Give your boy a round of applause, because he can't wear that shirt. <laughs> Today, the Yingling Brewery in Pottsville is officially recognized as the oldest brewery in the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, he stands six foot two. He weighs 240 pounds. Solid muscle man and beer. <laughs> and it is a body bra for the oh, my brother. Look at that! <laughs> Show the camera your Yingling shirt. <laughs> Enjoy it, brother. Awesome. Thanks, dude. All right, man. Well, there you have it. That was our little reality tour of three establishments. I hope you got to find the individual personality of each location. I just want to say thank you to uh, Yingling, uh, Shank, Big Dave, the limo guy, our production crew, the cast, and all you patrons along the way. Okay, we hope to see you again real soon. Thanks for watching. I wish I had the barrel of rum and of sugar, 3,000 pounds. A college bell to put it in and a clapper to stir it round. I drink to every fellow who comes from far and near. I'm a rambling wreck from Georgia Tech and a heck of an engineer. I'm a rambling wreck from Georgia Tech and a heck of an engineer. A heck of 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 an engineer. I go to jolly fellows, I drink my whiskey clear. I'm a rambling wreck from Georgia Tech and a heck of 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 an engineer.